You see, at such a time when serious political unfoldings are being seen, witnessed by the people, and the people are so serious with them, like the way we are seeing, a very, very important question is being asked about one man, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. And the question is, where is Kalonzo? Where is Stephen Kalonzo Musioka? When such things are really happening. Because we know that for somebody to create their political ground, so well, the foundation or the pillar to drive them forth, especially for 2027 that we are looking at, at the bullseye. I really want to beg us from where I start. Let's stay focused. Let's not lose sight of our goal. I mean, you guys, we really, really promise Kenyans big things. The expectations out there are very high. If we start losing focus now, I don't know how we'll face Kenyans in 2027. I personally want to stay focused to what we promised the people of Embu County. And I believe each one of you want to stay focused to what you promised the people in your counties. I beg of us. I really want to beg of us today. As the chair of UDA, let's stay focused to what it is we promised those hustlers. Because if we don't deliver, those hustlers will send us out of power. And they will send us with vengeance. So let us talk about roads, electricity, education, health, types. Let's tone down on the politics. It is not healthy. It is not healthy. It is the wrong time. And I want to say this on a light note. 2032 is very far. For me, the most important is to make sure our team leader, William Samoy Ruto, gets a second term. That, for me, is the most important. And he can only get a second term when he delivers and gets this country out of where it is right now. That is the truth. Now, once he gets his second term, Dindi Nyoro, any of you wants to go to climb up to Pambane Iyo Wakati. And I want to tell you, some of you think it's only you men who want this seat. Ata Sisi. Ata Sisi. So Musi Tulete story mingi. Like us, we have no ambitions. Even the women have ambitions. So give us a break and let us deliver to Kenyans. Where is Kalonzo Musoka at such a time? Is this man able to make hay while this sun is shining? Where is he? We have been asking that question for very many times. And actually, if you remember, the day Ray Udinga actually hinted to the people that Kalonzo Musoka is better placed to beat William Ruto in 2027, he even said that Ruto is not a match for Kalonzo Musoka. Sasa, wewe nafikiri yeye ni mwerevu zaidi. Tutamwonyesha ati yeye hajui. Sasa, sisi tutasimama kidete na mdugu Kalonzo Musyoka. Moyo. Jamaa ana ukakamavu. Jamaa ni mtu ambaye unaweza kumwamini. Yeye ni mtu mwaminifu. Yeye sasa ni mtu mkristo. Kalonzo umeshinda kwa Naruto mara kumi. Kwanza anasema 2022 atuja kamilisha. We want to know what happened. Sini kweli? Ehe. Ye yote ambaye atashimama. Ehe. Wakati yo mwingine. Ulava walk over. Raila gave him a serious, you know, oteku. A serious mbi. That if he is a serious politician right now, at such a time when we are seeing things happening like this intensively well, we need to see him sako kobako with the people. But the question is, where is Kalonzo Musioka? After Raila Dinga hinted to the people that Kalonzo will be better placed, you see the people from the Luland, the Lake region, if you go even to the larger Western Bloc, they came up with three demands. And these demands were to test Kalonzo Musioka. 
So the first one they said that if you really think that Ryan Odinga is going to leave it for you and you are going to take the mantle, you are going to be passed on to the baton, you must prove three things. Number one, that they placed as a demand was they wanted to see Kalun Usyoka be very much robust in a cross-sectional divide, meaning that he's, uh, he's not supposed to concentrate his political activities in the eastern side where he comes from, or just talk about the Kamba politics, he be confined within the Kamba setting. And Kalonzo actually proved himself to be above that demand by actually trying to traverse the entire nation. You remember the time he was so serious with Eugene Omalua and you were seeing him moving from Kisi, moving to the coastal region, moving to central region. We were thinking that at least there is a wake up call that Kalonzo has heeded to and there is something new that has actually come on board and this is a man that you can actually trust. But the demand, the second demand which he was put to task and to come to terms with and to prove himself is the demand of can Kalonzo Musioka organize a demonstration to champion for something that people are fighting for. He has actually failed to match up to the task and for that he has really, really not proved that he can actually wear the shoes that Ryan Dinger actually was wearing for that time. And so that is the ultimate, according to me and according to how you always see the political events, that will always be the ultimate test. That will be the most significant test that if you pass it, definitely you are considered by the people and valued highly, esteemed highly. Look at what is happening right now. What is Boniface Mwangi doing? In fact, Boniface Mwangi actually got the opportunity because Ryan Dinger is not, is not in for these demonstrations. In fact, it has not been called by the opposition. There is no political figure that is strictly taking the credit for organizing such demos. So when you see the likes of Boni Mwangi, he came out and he was the one driving the hashtag, you know, occupy the parliament. He was the one setting the pace and the way things have heated right now, he's going to get all the credit. So we need a debt audit. Jo kama ile psamo tunasema tunalipa madeni, tunalipa madeni gani? Wakati rais alichaguliwa na na deputy wake alisema kwamba kulikuwa na state capture na pesa zilibiwa. Wale uwezi ambao waliba zile pesa hawajafuatwa, hawajashikwa, hawajachunguzwa. Kwa hivyo tunalipa deni ambazo zilibiwa, pesa ambazo zilikopa zikaibiwa ndio tunalipa. Kwa nini tulipe pesa ambazo zilibiwa? Tunafikiri wale ambao walioiba hizo pesa washikwe, warudishe zile pesa ambazo waliiba ndio kwa Kenya cha kuumia. Kenya mzima tunaumia ah, rais Ruto anasema kwamba yeye ni yeye ni rais wa mama mboga watu boda boda lakini ukiangalia okay, watu wale ambao wanaumia sana ni wale wale maskini ndio wanaumia sana wamebomolewa manyumba katika vitogoji duni madhara ya mukuru ah, wamevuto makazi na serikali isikii kilio cha watu so leo maandamano ya leo ni kilio cha haki tunasema kwamba serikali mnatuumiza mnatugandamiza tusikizeni Kenya yule jamani tourist yani mtalii kila saa ni ndege tu ndege tu anafanya kazi wakati wa gani anafanyia kazi amekuwa amekuwa ya hostess kila saa tu akotoka ndege tu eh arudi hapa tufanye kazi acha kuzurura sana and you ask yourself the question where is the leader who is really preparing to take the office you know topple william ruto catch him pants down on the ballot day where is he he has failed to prove to us that this second demand that was put to him that he can actually handle demonstrations he has failed so for that being the ultimate test he cannot actually be trusted in a constitutional divide and you see the other test which was given to him was how can he organize all leaders and make sure that he solidifies every head that really are left behind he has not even proved that as at now he can have a clearly defined house and when you talk of a clearly defined political house, you always go into, can he actually bring reconciliation in the figures that are distancing themselves and segregating and going their separate ways? Can Kalonzo Musoka have a moment with them and they organize a house so that, you know, they move as one? He has not actually proved that. So, out of the three demands that were put before Kalonzo as a test, after Ryan Udinga actually hinted out that, you see, Kalonzo is best placed. He has only managed one, and that one he only managed for a short term time frame. He did not actually prove that he can maintain it for a futuristic ambition. 
So Kalonzo Musyoka is not coming out to be that much robust as everybody would think that he's better placed to grab the power. I think he needs to get deeper into power is not given. It is taken. And at such a time when Kenyans have really said that enough is enough, this is the time we're going to see democracy of the people speaking well on the ballot. And if we have a leader who is positioning himself and who really knows that, you know, if they are aligned with the democracy of the people that people are going to dispense, and at the same time, they ensure that they really want this power, this is the best time. This is the time. If Carlos Observer is not serious, who do you think is going to run with this narrative? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Tell me what you are from your side. We'll connect next. Have a great time.